Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing marvelously well. So, in the spirit of trying out affordable gear, we are going to test a new product called the Liberty Air 2 Pro. This is something that a lot of Grammy award winning people are talking about, and it is earbuds that are wireless and less than $130. So I suppose the question is, is really how good can wireless earbuds sound for $130? Um, you know, there's all of these people talking about it online and the recommendations are through the roof. Loads of five star, look at this, 10, 10 Grammy winning artists and musicians. So first of all, nice packaging. Can't really beat that. They do look rather nice. Can you zoom in on that? So here's a little case. They're placed in here. You've got a charger. It looks like straight out of the box, they're actually fairly charged. So that's that's nice to see. It looks like there's two lights flashing. It looks like it's a USB-C charger, is that correct? Yeah, USB-C. I suppose really the proof of the pudding is going to be in the eating, and that's really how do they sound. Next thing, of course, we've got to pair it with a phone or a laptop. So we've downloaded the app on the phone. It is the Soundcore app. I'm going to open it up. Dun, dun, dun. It says searching. It's found the earbuds over here. You know what? I suppose let's just put the earbuds in before I do anything else. I assume they're in the right way, and I'm probably now sh shouting. They're actually very effective, which is going to be interesting because, of course, um, they're noise cancelling, so they better be snug. Yep, those are in the right way. Hey, had to check. I have done demos of headphones with them, the left and the right, right the wrong way. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, so I've got this ambient sound selection here. I can hit noise cancelling. Oh, okay, so, and again, forgive me if I'm shouting. Now, in the noise cancelling mode, I've got transport, indoor, outdoor, and custom. So transport is targets low-end frequencies like engine and road noise for, for serene journeys and commutes. So obviously, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> you know I was going to say that. Indoor, eliminate voices and mid-range, uh, mid-frequency noises from coffee shops and other inside spaces. That's really nice. Outdoor, reduce ambient sound on the go for quieter city spaces. Very nice. And custom, adjust the most suitable noise reduction level for you. That's a great idea. I, I, I've, got, I've got to say something here. Eric was talking to me, and I didn't know. <laughs> it just works. That, that's really weird. Speak again. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, how's that airline food? It's really surreal. Adjust the most suitable noise reduction level for you. Keep going. Talking, talking. Hello, guys. My name is Eric. I'm behind the camera. Hey, hey, hey. How is it going? So weird. And this is my... Works really well. I'm going to go back to noise cancelling. It's really weird. Keep going. My talking level. Not talking too loud. This is just the way I talk to Warren. Indoor. Right light. in front of him. Hey, how's it going, Warren? Can you hear me? How's it's it really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. It's... Sorry if I'm shouting again on camera, but his voice is like this. It's like a little mouse in the background. Oh, man. When, I, when, I, when he first started talking, I thought for a second, it's really weird. You know, I don't expect noise cancelling on little tiny earbuds, especially not this effective. It's really weird. It's like, it's like a little tiny, like... Okay, so so that works really well. And again, sorry if I'm shouting because like, yeah, that's really surreal. Okay, so transparency mode, uh, hear all ambient sounds. Oh, that's really weird how that changed. One, two, two, two. Oh, that's so weird. Go go on to that transfer. Full, fully transparent. So here's all the ambient sounds. So vocal mode. Oh wow, I can hear my voice now. Talk. Hey Warren, I'm still talking at the normal the normal level I was talking to earlier. Um, yeah. Fine. So that's weird. So you can control. So this is presumably when you're using them as earbuds on a on a telephone conversation. Ah, 
Yeah, very smart. We like this. And then normal. Now talk. Hey, Warren, how's it going? Still talking at the same level as time, but it's just I'm normal. Back. So normal. This is normal. This oh, the noise cancellation is so good. Still talking over here in the back. <laughs> it's really. <good. laughs> it's like you're like on a little AM, AM radio, like mile away. All right. Normal. You hear? It's noise cancelling off and fully transparent. All right. I'm really, I'm going to go between um, noise cancelling and normal when we're playing back music. Really good. Okay, so I'm going to open up Spotify. All right, so I've got the noise cancelling on the moment. Go to normal. Well, it's not affecting the sound quality. And again, apologies if I'm shouting. So whether I go to normal, low end still good. Or noise cancelling, all normal. Okay, so that's a good sign. Let's load up something, not just a track I'm familiar with, but let's load up something I recorded. So let's go to the fray. Oh, wow. So I'm playing on Godly Hour, which I recorded. I'm going to pause for a second. I, I took a, to get the, the low end to really resonate, I took a 26-inch a, a marching drum and I hung it from the ceiling. And so it's just... Boom. And it just reverberated in the room. I highly recommend you go and check out on Godly Hour. This is a 26 inch marching drum hung from the ceiling. So it's like, and then hit with a big mallet. The low end is massive. So, what do we got to sound? We've got our noise cancelling. Talk to me, Eric. Simply can even hear you. Hey, I'm still talk I'm talking over here, same level as before, same exact level behind the camera, guys. How's it going? I am Eric. Eric behind a mask. I'm assuming your lips are moving because uh, you're wearing lips. a mask, but I don't hear you. Yep, yep, they're moving. They're moving. They're yapping. Connor? Hello, hello. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> you can see the mask. Here. Okay, so noise cancellation works really well. I'm definitely taking these home. <laughs> these are really, really good. All right, I'm playing How to Save a Life. It sounds good. I know how to save a life. Well, no, all those songs because I record them, but how to save a life, particularly because that was my old drum room. So I like it. And now I'm hearing um, it, it sounds like there's a little bit of 7K kind of extra on it. So I have been told that there is some EQing on this. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so there's a here ID and equalizer. Okay, so here's an EQ here. So it's a little bit more subtle. It's saying, okay, so it's going to plus six. So I've cut a little bit of low mids and I've cut a little bit of that six four and even a little bit of six, a little bit of 12 eight. So I've customized it for me. Um, and so I brought down the six four and the 12 eight. It just sounded a little too bright for me. The snare just kind of just had this pss, pss on the top. It sounded like it was, for me, it sounded like a 7K and above. So I went to the six four, brought that down a little bit, and then brought down a little 12 eight, around about 13K. I left the mids pretty present, didn't really do anything to those. Tiny bit of 800 cut there. A reasonable amount of low mid cut, 400. I find personally I'm quite sensitive to low mids. I don't like too many of them. And then I cut a little bit of a hundred because frankly, these have a lot of low end. These have a huge amount of low end, which is really always quite strange and disconcerting when you put in little earbuds that you're hearing so much huge low end. So some of you might already know the Liberty Air 2 Pros because it's a successor to the Liberty Air 2. This is my first time using them. And it's my first time ever using earbuds that are noise canceling. I had Sony's for years, which I loved, um, those noise cancelling ones. We have, you know, the Bose ones. My wife has the Beats ones that are noise cancelling. And I've used pretty much everything. This is quite liberating, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's really liberating not to have cables. You know, it's, yeah, it's massively liberating. And these are quite comfortable. I have a tendency, I don't know about you guys and girls, but I have this tendency to fall asleep listening to music or podcasts um, and actually books. Um, I'm really into Audible and not advertising Audible here, but I'm into Audible and I'm a big Stephen Fry fan and Stephen and of course, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I've just been listening to the whole of the Sherlock Holmes books as read, as narrated by Stephen Fry. So I think tonight, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go home, 
and fall asleep listening to that. It's pretty fantastic. So these have 11 millimeter drivers in them, which would explain the low end for such little earbuds. As I was saying before, you know, I don't use earbuds. In fact, you know, I have the Apple ones that have the cable. This is going to be super liberating. Um, $130, less than $130. Pretty darn good. I've not heard anything anywhere near as good for that kind of price range. Many of you will know I'm a huge fan of Music Cares. They have helped many, many of my friends. And if you watch any of the Mark Daniel Nelson videos, who's been partnering with us and creating incredible content, you'll notice the top link underneath his videos is a donation link to Music Cares. It's something we're very passionate about. They've helped many of my friends. I could tell you lots of instances, but they're too personal for other people's experiences. But all I can say is they are badass. So Soundcore have partnered with Music Cares, which is an incredible charity, absolutely incredible. They're going to provide financial support to struggling musicians, which of course at this time, you know, is pretty huge with both mental and other health issues. And that's something that's very, very close to my heart. So Feel free. If you buy these, you're also donating to an incredible charity, which is wonderful. So Soundcore's own app does also have a music community on it as well. So if you want to download and listen to songs, you can on, I don't know how you pronounce it, Loom, L-U-M, and the U has got umlauts above it. So I'm sure some of you can tell me how to pronounce that properly. So you can also check that out. As I was saying before, we got to these because they're highly recommended by some people we love and trust. Kobe Calais is recommending these. Neo, DJ Mustard, Foxes, Hellstorm, which is cool. Dea, Cedric Gervais, the infamous String Dusters, John Paul White, and many, many more. So I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using this. It's a massive revelation for me. I mean, I blocked out Eric. <laughs> <laughs> they're comfortable. They sound good. They're inexpensive. You can adjust the sounds. They do noise canceling. They're giving money to Music Cares and they're giving us three to give away. Pretty darn good. Oh, and I, uh, I, I neglect to say, this is the color we like, which is blue, but apparently they come in black, white, blue, and pink. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing and don't forget to enter. And please leave some comments and questions below. I love reading your questions and your comments. Have a marvelous time. So long, farewell, Al Vidazan, adios, adio, um, Al Vidazan, au revoir, farewell, goodbye.